Milling Through History presents, I Have But One Life. The AMC program Turn, Washington Spies, made many people in the United States want to know more about the spy ring which helped George Washington defeat the British during the American Revolution. However, perhaps the most notable individual to come out of this spy ring is one for whom we have oftentimes said his famous last words, but never truly knew who he was. That man was Nathan Hale. Born June 6, 1755, Hale would go to Yale University at the age of 14 with his brother Enoch. While attending university, Hale was classmates with future spymaster Benjamin Talmadge, and he would graduate with honors in 1773 from Yale University, and Nathan Hale decided his calling would be that of a teacher. In 1775, he would join the Connecticut Militia and was elected lieutenant within this militia unit within five months of service. However, while the company itself went off to engage in the Siege of Boston, Hale remained behind in Connecticut. It's been generally believed that he was unable to get out of his teaching contract, although there seems to be some speculation that he may have just been nervous about going off to fight in war. After receiving a rather passionate letter from Benjamin Talmadge, Hale took on a commission as first lieutenant in the 7th Connecticut Regiment, and he would eventually join a group known as Knowlton's Rangers, which was the first organized group of intelligent gatherers within the Continental Army. After being defeated by the British at the Battle of Long Island, George Washington would call upon the Rangers to find a spy to go behind enemy lines and find out where the British planned to invade Manhattan. When the call for volunteers came out, it was only Nathan Hale who stepped forward to take on this particular task. On September the 12th, 1776, Hale would go ahead and sneak across into Long Island, dressed as a Dutch school teacher looking for work. He never had any papers with him that said he was somebody else. Instead, he went by his own given name and even carried with his, him his Yale University degree, indicating that he really was a teacher. Now, while he got behind enemy lines, New York City was captured by the British and then burned to the, uh, been burned down. Now, no one knows who started this particular fire. However, the British assumed it was the Americans, and the Americans assumed it may have been some of the British. But regardless, the fact that the fire occurred certainly made some people suspect espionage might have been at work. And after the fire of New York City, it was at this point in time, Nathan Hale's cover was blown. Who was the individual responsible for doing this? Nobody is really 100% certain. Some believe it could have been a relative of Hale's who, being a loyalist, went ahead and betrayed him. But another individual is that of Robert Rogers of Rogers Rangers who had identified Hale as a spy after trying to make the claim that he himself was a patriot. As a result, Rogers is responsible for capturing Nathan Hale. After having been interrogated by General Howe, Hale was sentenced to death by hanging, which, according to the rules of war, was the only acceptable punishment for those captured as being a spy. On September the 22nd, 1776, only 10 days after beginning his most important mission, Nathan Hale was executed. According to lore, Hale's final words were, I have but one life to give for my country. However, in examining all the primary source material and in all accounts about the record, it is generally believed that Hale never actually said those actual words. Instead, he did give a speech as his final words, and according to British sources, he conducted himself very well before being executed. However, there is no indication to say that he actually did say his most famous line. In 1985, the state of Connecticut did declare that Nathan Hale was its state hero, and as such, he is still revered in that state to this day. Now be sure to click like, share, and subscribe for future episodes of Milling Through History, and be sure to leave comments below giving us future episode ideas. Be sure to look at our suggested reading page.